Larry, the, the piece that, that I referenced, we referenced at the top, um, it actually is trying to paint a more positive prospect for an agreement. Um, but it's saying that because it's starting to, they're starting to say they see signs, Dan Clifton, uh, of, of slowness coming in the economy as a result of the dispute. Uh, investment slowdown in the third quarter, they say, is a major red flag that tariffs are starting to impact capbacks. Are you seeing that and are you concerned about it? No, not really. I mean, I agree that the CapEx numbers were a little soft in Q3. They have been very strong in the prior quarters. And actually, David, um, there may be some glitches in that numbers. Uh, Kevin Hassett, my colleague at CEA, um, the durable goods reports really look much better than what we saw in the uh, GDP. We may get a revision upward maybe next quarter. I, I think that's still a strong area. Look, the tariffs that we impose on China, uh, because of their recalcitrance, they won't seem to respond positively to our asks. Maybe that's going to change in the next month. I don't know. But those tariffs really haven't hit yet. They're really not in place. I think some of these companies are worried. I understand that. But nonetheless, uh, we're doing what we must do uh, with respect to China. In my judgment, you know, IP stealing, um, transfer of technology, forced transfer, ownership, high tariffs on a number of commodities, cyber hacking. We, we, we can't let that happen. So I think the president right, is doing but, the right thing. But, 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 we're, but we're, my point is to Dan Clifton, who I haven't spoken to this morning, is we are resuming talks with China. And it will be part of the G20. And I have to believe that's a good thing. And we are talking to the EU and Japan. And we did get the uh, USMCA done. So that's not bad.